Hey guys and welcome. In this video I wanted to quickly uh, show you how to easily download um, editable templates and fonts that you can use uh, in your design. Uh, these two things are actually part of your uh, um, Creative Cloud subscription so give it a go have a, have a look around you can find some great stuff you could use in your design work um, to enhance them or to improve your work. So let's get started. The first one is I've got a file new. This opens up the file new dialog box like here. These here with the ticks here are the ones I've already downloaded. These are the templates I've downloaded from Adobe Stock. Now here are all the uh, uh, preset documents that's available in Photoshop. I'm just going to go to print. Here are the blank presets ones you can use. And below that are the free templates. To download one, you simply click on it. You can see more information and or click the download button and it'll open up within uh, uh, Photoshop. You can search for more and one word I like to use to search for more is free. Click on go and now it'll open up your default browser and go into Adobe Stock and it'll display all the free stock that you can download. Here are all the free ones. To download uh, one of these, uh, you simply, uh, let's just choose one quickly. Let's just choose this for example. You click on this license link. It does the checks in the background. Make sure you're logged in, your information is all correct. You can choose to download it directly to your computer or you can choose to open it directly in Photoshop, which I like doing. And click OK. Now, depending on the speed of your internet um, and how big the file is, it's going to take a while for it to download. So let's go into Photoshop now. Um, it's almost there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, close this so that uh, it'll open up uh, that template in, um, in, in Photoshop. Don't, afraid, don't, don't be afraid to use this stuff guys, it's, uh, it's there for you to be used, it's part of your subscription, these free templates and fonts as well. So now it's going to open up that template I downloaded, there it is there. Now for the purpose of this um, video, I'm not going to show you how to work on these files, that'll be for another another video. Now how to get free uh, free fonts or more fonts, uh, it's not free because it's part of your subscription. Uh, to add more fonts to your system, you go, you, let's open up the Windows character dialog box. And he, here are all the fonts that are on, on my computer. And that includes all the um, Adobe fonts I downloaded as well. To only see the Adobe fonts, you click on this uh, Adobe Creative Cloud link or icon and it will now only show you all the fonts from Adobe Cloud oh, sorry, Adobe Creative Cloud now to download more you click on this uh, little um, icon here the Creative Cloud icon and now again it will open up in your default browser and um, it's going to do all your checks it's going to see if you're logged in if, it, if you're already logged in it will automatically log you in and click, just click OK on here and here are all the fonts. And I'll show you at the start here. These are the ones that I've, I've already downloaded or activated. So if I want to activate more, I'll go into here into view family. And all I do is activate, click on this activate button, read all these, click OK. And again, depending on the speed of your internet and how quickly this uh, website responds, it will add that font to your list. Like I said, it's going to take some time. Sometimes it takes me several minutes. It, I think once, once it took me 20 minutes for the font to update in here. Another way to manage your fonts, you can go directly through the Credit Cloud application. So I clicked on my Credit Cloud link up there. And here under fonts, these are the fonts in my um, system or I've downloaded I can go to manage fonts it'll open up in your default browser 
and it'll show you the fonts here's the one I just downloaded it hasn't updated to my Photoshop yet but it will and these are all the other variation or the fonts variations I've downloaded and to uninstall a font all you do is click on um, this to deactivate it see it disappeared another one here deactivate and disappeared and again it's gonna take a bit of time to update within your uh, uh, Photoshop that's it guys that's how easy it is to do this uh, like I said don't be afraid to do it use the use what's been given to you it's part of your subscription don't let it go to waste and just try it and experiment with their templates and their fonts and hopefully it'll help in your design work I hope you got something out of that guys um, don't forget if you like the video give us a thumbs up and uh, also consider subscribing to my channel um, thanks for watching guys